or the Grove released this photo from 1934 of members in hoods. The Canaanite deity Moloch was worshipped in Greece, Babylon, and then later in Europe. It is normally symbolized by a bull or an owl or some type of horned beast, and children are sacrificed to it. It is the precursor of all modern death cults. And let's look at that deity they worship, Moloch, a Semitic deity mentioned in the Bible whose worship was marked by the human sacrifice of children. Here's a video still I shot while I was inside of the encampment. You see a human skull in effigy. I was able to get out of the cult compound with this program cover from the cremation of care. And right on the front, where a child would be burned, they had photoshopped in the image of a skeleton burning in the flames. What purpose does this all serve, having world leaders congregate and engage in an ancient Canaanite ritual? of mock child sacrifice. It's a way of binding them together, whether it's George Herbert Walker Bush or Henry Kissinger or Ronald Reagan or Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan, who's been a member since 1984. It's about bringing them together. Nowhere is the origin of the cult more in evidence than in former German Chancellor Helmut Schmidt's own autobiography, Men and Powers, a political retrospective. He talks about how they have their own German groves where they do these rituals, these quote, druidic rituals. But he says his favorite place to do the rituals is at Bohemian Grove. This is a book that you can get at the library written by him. He talks about the Trilateral Commission, the CFR, the Bilderberg Group, and world government. And he says that much of the decisions are made at the Bohemian Grove. We were able to obtain the internal annals of the Bohemian Grove from 1987 to 1996, a publication only given to members. And in it, we see pictures of George W. Bush and his father, Newt Gingrich. We see all of these different famous individuals there at the Grove. Walter Cronkite, Jimmy Carter, Jack Kemp, Richard Milhouse Nixon. The list goes on and on. If you're still doubting reality, here is a November 1989 issue of Spy Magazine. The Grove released photos of themselves dancing around dressed like women. And in the article, they admit that they do mock human sacrifices. The article went on to show artist renditions of the Moloch idol, as well as discussing how they bus in male prostitutes and how AIDS was a big problem. Then a New York Post article in July of 2004 reported how a top gay porn star serviced the moguls at the Bohemian Grove. This 1914 Bohemian Grove annal has a swastika on its cover, and inside it talks about how they're a German death cult founded by the Illuminati. But some of you are saying, wait a minute, the Nazis invented the swastika, that was their symbol. You're talking about 1914 and 1920. My friends, the swastika was used by the Buddhists, it was used by Native Americans. It is a sun symbol and it was used by Druids in Europe thousands of years ago. In the 1920s and 30s in the U.S., it was a symbol of good luck, like a horseshoe. But for the Nazis and members of the Bohemian Grove, it was a symbol of power. And Adolf Hitler was obsessed with the occult. The roots of Nazi Germany grew out of groups like the Thule and Thule Society, organizations obsessed with black magic which themselves sprung from older organizations like the Illuminati. All of these groups corresponded and called themselves Orders of the Death's Head. Adolf Hitler was a member of the Thule Society. Here you see one of their publication covers from 1919. He took their symbol as the signet of his party. It has been reported that after Madame Blavatsky died, Aleister Crowley became the head of the German Illuminati, also known as the OTO. Aleister Crowley was called the most evil man alive because of the bloodthirsty rituals he engaged in. It's important to note that both of his children died in questionable circumstances. So should we be surprised that the leader of the Third Reich who killed millions of people was an adherent of both of these sickening individuals? The Waffen-SS were the henchmen of the Nazi party, and they wore an aluminum or silver 
death's head on their hats. Here you have a famous field marshal of World War I, and adorning his headdress is a death's head. In reality, all of Hitler's actions were nothing more than a manifestation of the deepest and darkest dreams of the Order of Death. And remember that the Order of Skull and Bones of Bohemian Grove are nothing more than offshoots of this global movement. The Nazis wore a skull and crossbones on their hats. Compare that to the skull and bones symbol. And beneath that, an early Nazi party medal, not just with a swastika, but the 32 or 322 of skull and bones. We see these symbols throughout Nazi culture, especially on their icons and standards. Hitler believed that they drew power from these symbols, and he publicly talked about it. Here is an official photo taken from the presidential library of George Herbert Walker Bush, showing him standing with his classmates. And there it is, the order of death symbol, the skull and crossbones, the 322 beneath.